Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, your boy, Yumacon. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, we are going to be doing my predictions for match day 31 of the Premier League season. So, let's jump straight into it. Right, guys. So, we are finally back after the terrible international break that literally no one enjoys watching. Let's be honest. Nobody enjoys it. And now, we are finally back to the Premier League, which everybody loves. So, let's get into it. Right, okay. So, the first game is is tomorrow and it's the half 12 kickoff so it is the early kickoff and it's been liverpool and watford now i think liverpool are gonna win but if watford could do us a massive and beat liverpool because i don't want to be second going into the game against burnley because we got to think about liverpool and stuff like that so if watford if roy hodgson could do us an absolute favor and get a draw or a win that would be great but i think that liverpool are gonna come away with all three points to be honest with you so a liverpool win and then in the second game we do have Burnley against Manchester City. Now, I think that City going to win this. It's going to be a tough game, I think, because Burnley always seems to defend really well against us. And it's kind of annoying playing against Burnley because they're just so compact. And yeah, but I think that City will win. Okay, moving on, we have Wolves against Aston Villa. I'm going to go for a draw here. I think this will be a very good game, but I think a draw will be needed. I think for, yeah, a draw. Um, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but yes, a draw. Okay, moving on, we have Leeds against Southampton. I'm going to go for another draw here. I just see this as a draw. Yeah, but it's quite simple as. Okay, moving on, we have Brighton against Norwich. I'm going to go for a Brighton win. I think maybe 2-0, 3-0, something like that. I don't see Norwich winning at all. I'm going to go for a Brighton win. And then moving on to the second last game on Saturday, we have Chelsea against Brentford. I'm going to go for a Chelsea win. It should not be too hard for them to win. So yeah, so Chelsea win. And then for the final game on Saturday, we have Manchester United against Leicester. I'm going to go for a draw here. Just flat out a draw. And yeah, there has been a lot of draws so far. So yeah. Okay, moving on to Sunday, we have West Ham against Everton. I'm going to go for a West Ham win. Even though I would like Everton to win and maybe stay up, I just don't think that they will get the better of West Ham in this fixture. Okay, moving on to the final game of Sunday, we have Tottenham against Newcastle. I'm going to go for a Newcastle win, which sounds kind of crazy because Tottenham are a good team. But I think Newcastle are doing some bits behind the scenes, you know. I think they're doing some things. So I'm going to go for a Newcastle win. I don't think it's going to be like a 4-0 or anything like that. But I do think like a 2-1, 1-0, something like that. But I think at Newcastle will beat Tottenham. But it should be a good game, that one, I think. And then Monday, we do have Crystal Palace against Arsenal. Now, I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win. Why? Because Arsenal fans are getting too big for their boots. And they need to be humbled, so... A Crystal Palace win. So let's do a quick recap. So we have Liverpool win. We have a Manchester City win. We have a draw between Wolves and Villa. And then we have another draw here between Leeds and Southampton. We have a Brighton win. We have a Chelsea win. We have a draw between United and Leicester. And then we have a West Ham win. We have a Newcastle win. And then we have a Crystal Palace win. Now, I do want to say, guys, that this is getting a bit confusing now, of course, because some games were pushed back for COVID and then like the Champions League, FA Cup and stuff like this. To the point where on match day 30, which these games would have taken place, these are now taking place in 20 days. So this is like match day 33, I think. Or maybe 34, yeah. It's like it's like here. It, it's in between here. So I'm not going to be doing these ones just because it's too confusing. It's too confusing to go back and forth, back and forth, and then it's not the right uh, match day. It's just, it's a complete shambles, but yes. Yeah, so those are my predictions, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will catch you later. Uh, goodbye.